tasty. Spider Gwen, Gwenverse number two has dropped, and this issue was awesome. This issue opens up with Doc Ock, <coughs> I mean, Dr. Cephalopod, and Nightbird trying to find Thor Gwen in Norway. And they're interrogating this woman, and they're like, where did they go? And they learn that they jumped through a portal to go to another place to find, obviously, more Gwens. And I just want to say, I really love the lettering throughout this series. It's really cool how it does it um, when Dr. Cephalopod is talking with this Nordic woman. You can, the text is different, so you can tell it's in a different language. And it just, um, the, like the thoughts in Gwen's head through the whole thing, it's lettered different. And I think it's a really cool way to distinguish not only language, but who's saying what, is it in its head, is it out loud. And I just, I really think the lettering in this is actually really, really well done. Now flash forward, backward. Either way, upstate New York, 1951, Earth-65, and both Spider-Gwen and Thor-Gwen are in the car, and the dialogue between the two is so awesome. I mean, it's just so well done, and I think it really accentuates the difference in the aspects of Gwen's personality that all of these different Gwens represent, and I love Thor-Gwen. It's just what you would want from Thor. You know, the eccentric, the how they talk, the Odin's daughter, my posterior shall rule them all. Like he just, <laughs> or she just, I oh, just appreciate how they characterized Thor Gwyn a lot through this whole issue. And it, uh, eventually they're looking for Captain America or Captain Gwyn, however you want to call it. And instead of just reading the origin story or telling it, Thor Gwyn's like, I'm not just going to read you this, I'm going to tell it to you as a bard would, and gives this big speech about how, you know, Captain America came to be, Gwen Rogers, and it's just, it's awesome. Again, it's just great characterization that this um, series continues to deliver. And then we finally meet Captain America Gwen. Gwen Rogers, as I'm going to say. And Gwen Stacy, you know, explains everything to her and what we need to do. And she just gets up and is like, of course, you know, because she's the part of Gwen Stacy. That's the, the want to do good, the hero in Gwen Stacy that comes out. And again, the characterization of Captain America through all this. I don't want to give too many spoilers away because I really want you to read this and experience how good the different characterizations of Gwen Stacy are through this. Um, and Captain America is no different. Point is, her and Gwen Thor, Thor Gwen, getting a little spat, and um, they clash a little bit, and we ended up we end up finding out. We go back into the Spider Verse area with the Spider Zero. Spider Zero being the weaver of the Spider-Verse. And they're like, man, we, we didn't get Captain Gwen this time, so we have to find her again and we'll know where she's going. So we go back to New York. Back to New York, we go back to New York. You know, Will Hamilton there, but anyways. So Captain Gwen busts in and is mad because apparently one of the Gwens did some lewd modeling for a calendar and of course captain america ain't down with that captain ain't showing no skin captain is a good upstanding citizen so cap finds this guy and is like hey are you the guy that put this magazine out and he's like uh yeah what about it and he's like all right we're handling this orphan style put these fists up let's do it so with cap ready to throw hands wolverine gwen who was at this party comes out of nowhere and just tries to go at her because she's the one that did it she wanted to lure Captain Gwen out because she didn't like the whole goody two shoes you know I'm gonna show you what you could be um, and they have a little fight and they do some really good the uh, illustrations here are really good and actually has a few really cool very anime type scenes in it and so as a manga guy I'm a big fan um, if you're this whole comic really is has a little bit of a manga anime vibe as far as some of the artwork goes and I just love it it just really it's really cool luckily Thor Gwyn, who calls Wolverine Gwyn Miss Murder Hands, and Gwen Stacy show up, kind of break up the two from fighting. Uh, Gwen is like, oh, the Wolverine must be the one, the part of me about being somewhat of a short temper. Like, duh, of course, right? 
Anyway, I don't want to give away too much because there's a couple big plot points that show up at the end and I don't want to spoil it because again, I really want you guys to go out and read this series. Um, and again, just like I've said with all the other Gwyns, Wolverine Gwyn, great personality, great characterization. Um, the fight between the Gwyns and the villains is awesome. Um, definitely worth checking out. And then at the end, we get a little kind of a little plot point, plot thread teaser, I think for the next issue about which Gwyn will show up next. Next. and I just I love it so I really like the first issue but man the first issue just doesn't compare to how good the second issue is um, just top to bottom I just really enjoyed it it's a fun read especially if you're into the whole spider verse you know Gwen Stacy all that and, and I am so I love it it's almost like a, a Avengers story with spider-man and Dude, that's right up my alley. What more could I ask for? But um, I just I love it. Go check this one out. It's definitely worth the read. Um, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Make sure you like and subscribe.